EasyMutt.com. Use code Q. Get 10% off right now. Stop gambling your money. Go save your money. Go get the team you want. Go have the fun you want. Go get the players you want. All right, guys, we're back. Top 10 running backs straight and to the point. Subscribe if you're new. I already did a quarterback tier list. That was the second video of the day. First video of the day was Joe Montana gameplay. This is the third one. Let's get started here. So, wow, Walker is going to be number 10 because he, he does get 85 jukers as a threat. So he gets good animations. 85 break means he's going to break enough tackles to be at least relevant. His speed is barely okay. But with that being said, uh, yeah, this guy here is going to be number 10. Well, basically because of his juke and his break tackle. Number nine is going to be Wilson. 89 XL is going to be a step up there. Juke is going to be still 85, but he has better cod. And yeah, he's heavier. So I do like Wilson falling forward a little bit better. For sure, more than Walker. The balance beam is not the worst thing you can put. I don't mind it at all. But he doesn't get no great abilities like jukebox, nothing like that. Up next, we got Fred Taylor. 86 speed. But why is he on the list? Because he gets Jukebox. There you go. There's your answer. And Jukebox is amazing. I would not waste your AP on Spin Cycle. But Jukebox, I would. So, yeah. If you're looking for a cheaper guy that gets a good animation, here you go. He's not going to be the fastest anymore. But he is still going to be usable because of his ability. Now, this list is hard to make but it's because it depends how you play, right? Like, if you want to smash mouth back, you want to run somebody over, you want to juke somebody, right? With that being said, guess what? Uh, this is going to be a power back. And he's not going to juke or spin very well. He's going to run downhill with Bulldozer and run you over. And with that being said, if you want a power back, you can move this guy up on the list. If you don't want a power back, you can move this guy off the list, right? His step arm is going to be usable. His break tackle is good. He has good weight, over 240 pounds. He is 6'2". He gives you a little bit of a boost, not too much. But I will say for a power back, he's got to be on the list. Swift is next, 88 speed, over 85 break and 85 juke. So this guy here is going to be a faster, just Fred Taylor, right? Jukebox, he's faster, he's going to break some tackles. And I will say that obviously you cannot run people over with him. This guy's a disadvantage of just getting ran over. So keep that in mind. Like I said, guys, this list is really hard to make. What do you want? You want a power back? You want a juke back? But... Let's keep it moving. Foster is next here. He's just a stronger Swift. That's really all he is. They're really, you're going to get very similar results out of them. But he gets Jukebox. He gets Human Joystick. I know it's tempting, but it's not worth it. Please use Jukebox or you'll just be wasting your AP. And over 220 pounds. And his strength is over 75. So, I mean, is he best power back? No. But can he at least break more tackles than Swift because of his strength? Yeah, a little bit. But like I said, guys, you're going to get a very similar result. Up next, we got Derrick Henry here. 89 speed is nice. I wish his Excel was a little bit better. But uh, this guy does not spin very well at all. He can juke a little bit. You can put Bulldozer if you want. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think Bulldozer is even necessary. I would not waste my appeal on that. Trucking's going to be great. Break tackles going to be 90. So this guy is really going to break some tackles. And with his weight being over 250 is going to be nice. So as far as a power back, he's going to be great. But man, if you get to the outside, you need to spin back inside. Good luck with that. Uh, you're going to miss good jukes. You're going to miss jukebox if you use this card. But if you're just going to run straight at somebody, go get him. Got Walter Payton ahead of him. Walter Payton can break enough tackles at 80. Five threshold, not the 90 like Henry, but his juke and spins way better than Henry. And, well, he gets two good abilities. He gets jukebox and human joystick. Like I said, I would just put jukebox. But uh, getting having jukebox and just being a better overall round back, I will say that he does catch better than Henry. And, yeah, it depends what you want. If you want a power back, go get Henry. Now, McCaffrey, I feel like he's an upgrade at Peyton, right? Uh... You see his Excel to 90 is super nice. Juke spin, all that feels good. Change of direction feels real good with him. But running back apprentice is what's going to make him unique. I will say that. And I really think that with this guy, you're going to be able to just have a better passing game. He's going to catch better than Peyton. Um, and man, out of the backfield, just dump the ball off him is how you're going to use this guy. He's really going to give you some extra routes with his ability. And yeah, with this speed, he's going to be really effective. With all that being said, I still say it's Bo Jackson. How about that? Trucking, 
He's still good enough. Break tackle still good enough. Juke spin still good enough. Speed still good. Enough. So look at this. McCaffrey can't truck. Bo can't. Right. Der Derrick Henry can't juke. Bo can't. Right. Walter can't truck. Bo can't. So Bo can do everything, guys. He really can. And he gets the ability that you need, which is jukebox. That's all you got to put on him. And he's going to get the job done. And for his price, he's a good value now. Go pick him up. That's going to do for me, guys. Those top 10 running backs. So go check out the Joe Montana gameplay and quarterback tutorials. Both those videos are up today. This is our video today. Subscribe if you're new, guys. Let's get this thing moving. Thank you for the support. I'll see you in the next video.